Hi, welcome to the Nordic Walking UK Poll Clinic. Uh, today's subject is about uh, a very quick overview of the types of polls available on the market and the two key materials and what you should be looking for because there seems to be a lot of confusion within that. Very simply, you've got four types of polls and you've got two, two key materials. The first type of poll we have is um, the fixed length poll which, as the name says, it's uh, fixed in length and they come in five centimetre increments. Um, the next is the extendable pole, which is a fixed length pole, but then you have a micro adjustment just under the handle, so you can get exactly the right length for you. Uh, the next is the adjustable pole. Typically in the adjustable pole, the adjustment is in the middle. You normally get 25 to 30 centimetres of adjustment, and it's a, it's a two-part pole, very simply. And the last type of pole is the traveller pole, which is a telescopic pole in three sections. Again, you have a lot of range of uh, length of the pole within, within that, so typically 100 to 130 centimetres. Now, obviously different manufacturers have uh, different materials they make from, um, but if we just look at the length side, that's the key aspect when you're looking at these types of poles. The length of the pole is determined by a number of factors, and you'll probably see online uh, there's a lot of uh, conversation of what length the pole should be. And the le pole, pole length is determined by your height, which is obviously a key aspect, your arm length, your body length. Um, but the two key factors that are not necessarily understood is uh, your technique and your stride length. Now, as you improve your technique within Nordic walking and you start to have a straighter arm, you need a longer pole. As your technique improves, it becomes much more natural action. Uh, your stride length increases as well, so you need a longer pole. And easily you could change five centimeters as a minimum from where you start to where you finish. So if you're just starting out in Nordic walking, then to be honest, a fixed length pole really isn't, isn't the place. Um, and also with only five centimetre increments, even if you are discerning, your, you've got quite a precise technique within Nordic walking, um, those five centimetres between one size and the next is a big difference and that will make the difference of whether the poor grips, grips on the surface or not. So fixed length poles are great. Um, the, micro, uh, the, um, the extendable pole then gives you the ability of having the action, which is a nice single action in a, in a one piece pole, um, but then to get it exactly right now, um, that extension under the handle gives the ability for that. But also as you improve your technique, then the pole can extend with you. Both of which, um, obviously within limits of length, so if you're sharing poles, then you're better off, and when you're starting out, it's looking at an adjustable pole. The adjustment means that anybody 4 foot 10, uh, up to typically 6 foot 1 or anywhere in between, can use the same pole and as you develop with it you can make that adjustment. Um, the traveller pole is gives the convenience that then if you're travelling you can drop it down really short so something like this uh, Lecky Traveller Carbon which is like the ultimate travelling pole. Um, this drops down to 62 centimetres um, so it's really convenient for travelling and um, the issue which you, you might hear some people is talking about yes but what about vibration? Poles are meant to vibrate. The whole principle of a pole, a bit like your bean pole in the garden, is that when the pole hits the ground, the maximum vibration is in the middle, so it's absorbing the impact when, when you're planting the pole. In a well-designed pole, by the time that vibration gets to the tip or the handle, there is no vibration. What you don't want in a pole is bad vibration. And what bad vibration is, is that on a lot of cheaper poles, where they've got fittings, um, unlike uh, uh, Gabel or Lecky or a quality pole, in a cheap pole you'll get bad vibration off the joint. And the other area is on the strap system mechanism. And if you're getting vibration from that, you can actually injure your wrist. This is becoming like two extra limbs when you're walking, you're becoming a quadruped. So you don't want bad vibration. So just make sure you're not confused and people don't confuse you with vibration. When these are done up within, certainly Lecky and Gabel, and, and we, we look at a lot of manufacturers around the world, and Lecky Bell give you a very high quality um, 
These fittings are withstanding 120, 140 kilos of downward pressure, so there's no issue of them actually collapsing. So you can do them really tight, and there's no vibration coming from the handle. So it really gives you like a feeling like a human joint. Now the other area is looking at uh, materials, and your two base materials are um, aluminium and carbon. Now typically you will hear the reference of talking about alloy poles rather than aluminium. And why they're talking about alloy, it means that predominantly it's aluminium, but it might have another little element of material. And alloy poles are great, they're very light, uh, they can make a very precision engineering, so it can be a perfect in, in make. And if you're buying a quality alloy pole, then you're not going to be shortchanged within don't feel you're underselling yourself with by buying an alloy pole. They're pretty robust and within reason, if you get them stuck in a cattle grid or if you car door, then you can, you, you can bend them back. So alloy poles and obviously price comes into it, which is budget. If you have got the budget and you're willing to spend, then certainly look at carbon poles. Carbons are, um, can be 100% carbon, so something like this um, Lecky Speed Pace Vario. It's 100% uh, it's carbon, but you have different qualities of carbon. And again, going back to Lecky and Gabel, they will use a high density wraparound carbon. Um, you can go, you can travel abroad, you might go into a supermarket in, in Europe and, and walk in and see a carbon pole really cheap. It's probably made from a sheet carbon, and to be honest, the feel of it is awful. So uh, when you look at carbon, there's the quality of carbon. And also there's the amount of carbon. So you can have like this, which is 100% carbon. Um, or you can get carbons, um, you know, like this Cabell, which is 85% carbon, all the way down to 35% carbon. And they then become a composite pole. So what they're doing is they're a mixture of materials. So you've got carbon, and then you might have plastics, or you might have five glasses in there as well. That's not a bad thing, um, because sometimes with a carbon pole, Although it's super light, um, it also can get uh, affected by the wind. So if you've got a strong crosswind, almost they can be a little bit too light. But saying that, um, you know, they're a great material. So people ask us all the time, should I buy carbon, should I buy alloy? Well, obviously budget is going to be, be a big part of that. And, you know, just the same as if you're buying a tennis racket or a squash club, um, a squash racket or a, a, a golf club, um, you know, if you've been walking with a high quality carbon pole and then you used an alloy pole, you'd be saying, hmm, I think I'll have my carbon poles back. Um, to begin with, if you went out and you, you bought yourself a pair of aluminium poles, um, they'd be great, you'd use them, be happy, have them off them. But uh, certainly carbon and a quality carbon pole gives a nicer feel to when you're walking. So if your budget can go to carbon, then look at carbon, but just, remember what I said previously in this presentation that um, not all carbons are the same so you're looking for a quality manufacturer. I hope that helps explain you know the four key types of um, poles but certainly as Nordic Walking UK if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to pick up the phone and talk to us and we can help advise you and steer you through the uh, different types and qualities. Uh, thank you for thank you for listening.